my G's. I am back with another tutorial. It's been a while. Uh, last couple weeks, I've just been busy, you know, working. So I've been posting beats. But, you know, still keeping it uh, regular and consistent. And now I'm back with another tutorial. Um, I saw you guys, you know, a lot of people jumping on the Q Beats one. Um, so, yeah, I just want to show, uh, you know, just um, why I want to say thanks for all the support and all of the... Uh, um yeah all the love you've been showing on my channel so just keep it going keep it going i see the subscribers is increasing the watch time everything you know it's going good just keep it going i'll keep it going you know i'll make sure you know i'll bring out a video every week as i said um yeah and this one i'm back at it um so yeah before again i dive into this video into this sample breakdown um make sure you know subscribe hit that bell check out my recent content my you know sound content my sample libraries all that type of stuff uh and yeah Without any further ado, I'll just dive right into it. So for this one, what I have planned or what I have for you guys today is just another sample breakdown. It's, again, my flavor, this exotic sample that I made. I think I already ha already showed you, you know, two videos on how I do these type of samples. This one is a bit bit different. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got in store for you guys. Um, this is what it sounds like. So it's got that Asian flair, it sounds dark, you know, ambient, and it's got, you know, good pace and good rhythm. So yeah, um, that's what I got for you guys, that's what I'll be breaking down. So first of all, the tempo is at 163 BPM, you know, pretty fast, but not too fast. Um, and yeah, what I started off with, um, let's go right into, right here to pattern, what I started off with is the first sound. right here is one of my go-to's some sauce for you guys from contact uh probably will, for those guys who don't know this one um it's by sonica instruments kodo 13 so this is just specifically for the kodo and i think i have used this one before if it's the first time you're seeing this um not much to say about this one it's about the kodo which is a japanese it's in a harp if you will and it has it's one of my favorite instruments by the way um, the way this one, with the way this one functions and how it works, it's not like your typical contact library. The way it works is you pick a particular scale, you tune it, and then to a particular key, particular scale, and then when you go into the piano roll, this is the pattern I came up with. When you go into the piano roll, it doesn't; these notes do not represent on the piano roll. Do not represent the legitimate notes, like the notes you know on your keyboard. Um, they represent the notes in the scale, which in this case I chose. Let's see, I chose the hero scale. You can pick between these. Hero is pretty dark. And then what you also can do is pick between articulations. And I picked an art articulation. What's it called? I'm not pronouncing that. Uh, Shizumi Fast. Yeah, hope I got that one right. And it has a sharp sound. So this is what it sounds like just by itself. So it has this, you know, this sharp texture to it and the pattern itself might seem a little crazy but I just picked notes that I liked um, out of the scale and I just talked about this one before it's just, music theory wise it's just a broken chord it's just um, quarter notes in these case just descending and then I have this this D you know this G on top of D uh, I mean G below D and yeah the pattern pretty much repeats and I just change up some of the notes um, and then in the end, I have it descend even a bit more, add a bit more notes. And then I just mess around with the velocity as it descends. I think it sounds pretty cool when you have this, this like strumming effect. If you do the same thing with your velocities, it just has a nice sound to it. It makes it more, you know, sound more realistic in this case. So yeah, that's the first sound. Uh, and the second one, so for you guys who don't know, who already, who haven't seen the video yet, um, yeah, this is out of my one shot kit. I grabbed you've seen other, my, other ones of my tutorials uh, I grab a lot of sounds on my one shot kit you know especially foreign sounds exotic sounds where I just know you know this is gonna sound crazy this is one of my favorite ones this is also Kodo but it's a live recording so it's it's a one shot this is what it sounds like I love 
it. It has this this nice ping, this nice ring to it, you know, the sound. And I just came up with this counter melody pattern, just, you know, following the notes um, and by ear because, you know, you can't follow the ghost notes because they don't represent the legitimate notes. So I just went by ear. Um, so, yeah, that's how I did it. Um, then for the third preset, I believe, yeah, this is, okay, another Asian instrument. So this is all, all going to be just Asian instruments out of contact now. Um so this is the Guzeng. It's a relative of the Kodo. This is from Sony, Sony Culture. Um, the Guzeng. If y'all don't know it, it's also just for the Guzeng and also pretty dope. I like to use this one. It sounds like this. The pattern and the, the preset. So it's pretty basic. It's just uh, uh, you know a full step pattern, a full step pattern, um, meaning. You know, each note hits on each uh, beat. You know, if I put on the metronome, you get the picture. So it hits on each beat. It's pretty common. And you can take out notes for like spaces and intervals. And then you can, for example, here, when it breaks down again and repeat, so to say repeat, I do a half step then. And then I have a descend here at the last bar. And then I add this quarter note, you know, for a bit more bounce. And then I kept the velocities going, and then when it descends down, I also, as I mentioned earlier, I make the velocities descend as well. Um, then for the fourth sound is also, it's an Eru, exactly, out of j Def and Gold. So probably, I don't have to, you know, mention, you know, uh, you know, this sound, talk much about it. We all know j Def and Gold, so I love to use it. Um, I love these, you know, the, the, the strings. It's pretty much like an Asian violin or fiddle, whatever you want to call it. It has a you know nice sound. Well, this is a Van Hu Swiss tremolo um, out of Jade Ethnic Orchestra, and this is what it sounds like. Oh, not bad. Also came up with this, you know, just a counter melody pattern. You know, just I have all the sounds playing. Of course, now it's split because I, you know, dragged into my piano roll to arrange my loop, but. It's um, when I have all the sounds playing, I make sure, you know, just the notes are hitting and, you know, the bounce, it sort of say creates a groove and that emotion that I want. So, yeah, that's how I came up with that pattern. And then pretty much I copied and pasted that into a bass out of my drum kit. The dark bass pattern, this is what it sounds like. Sorry for that crackle. My CPU is suffering. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we'll just get into mixing. Um, as I, as you know already, if you watch my earlier tutorials, when it comes to mixing, it's pretty basic. There's not really much to be done for my sound. For the, for the first preset, I did wanted to do something a bit extra, so I added a uh, reverb. Uh, the drum air, you know, if you've seen you know my previous videos. I love this preset, especially like on strings, like pluck strings. Um, then uh, so no, I didn't use that one. Then, uh, you know, EQ to boost some of the frequencies, to boost some of the mid because it was lacking, then a bit of the highs. Um, and then some secret sauce. I love this one. The frost, it kind of adds delay, so I can play it with. See right there when I, you know, the, the fade, you know, um, there's like a decay. So and when I take that off. just stops it's just a reverb and then you know delay is also important so and i love that because i don't have to mess around with it, with it much i just take down the overall and that's pretty much it um then i believe we get into the second one which is yeah the kodo the sound mantra kit i just added a reverb pretty much just for more space and ambience then for the third one which is the second string the guzeng same thing this reverb this winter trial the reverb and then for the third one i mean the fourth sound the ehu it's the same thing just reverb just reverb not even a cue because the sound like i don't over mix them if the sound is pure and good the same thing with my real instruments my guitar my flute I'll take out the sounds that I do not want in the sound, like the frequencies that I do not want in the sound, 
an instrument or if I like mess up playing something, I'll try to correct it. But if it sounds good, I just leave it. Sounds good to me. Um, yeah, and for the bass, I don't have anything on there as well. So it's pretty, pretty basic. And then what I do, if you know what I do, you know, how I go about arranging my samples, um, pretty much what I did and do is I have the sounds coming gradually. And as it progresses, I take out some, you know, individual sounds. So you get a bit of variation and you, you know, get to, the producer gets to choose the part that he likes. And it's not like, oh crap, I don't want the bass playing there. The bass is constantly playing or well, that string or whatever, you know, each has, each, to each their own, everyone has their preference. So that's why I kind of space it out like this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, then I probably, yeah, I'll put some effects on the master chain, um, some RC20, um, then a shaper for more width and ambience. Don't mind the soft clipper and like all the, you know, I, then later added drums on it, you know, just, that's another tip of mine. Um, you know, when you make samples and you have like an idea and sort of say a producer, you would like to, you know, sort of say destroy your sample. I sort of say put drums that match that. Like if you're doing a Pierre Bourne type sample, then throw like a Zaytoven 808 and like a regular just two step higher pattern and a clap on there and see if it like, if it's hitting the way you want. If the 808, the pattern it makes sense, the bass notes, it's adding up and the, the, the pacing and the, you know, the counter melodies, it's adding up. And you know, I did it with this sample and it worked, you know. It's, what you hear in the intro and the outro so yeah that's pretty much it from you know from me guys if you have any, any questions you know uh mention down below in the comments uh you know any suggestions tips or what you want to see um yeah definitely uh leave that in the comments uh sounds and uh samples you know link will be all in the description um yeah that's pretty much it from me guys so yeah i'll see you in the next one